thanks for joining. So today we are going to try and make our very own moon sand using only two ingredients. So for these ingredients, your recipe technically calls for flour and baby oil. I think baby oil would work the best if you have it. However, I don't have that, so I'm gonna try this using vegetable oil and we're gonna see how this turns out. But the recipe says you can use baby oil or any other kind of oil that you would like to use instead. So if you have baby oil, go ahead and use that. If not, go ahead and use something else. Okay, so all we need to do for this recipe is put our flour and our oil in our bowl and mix it together until it's fully combined, which can take up to 10 minutes. So if you would like to make the full recipe, you are going to be using eight cups of flour and one cup of oil. So I'll say that again. So if you wanna make the full recipe, it would be eight cups of flour and one cup of oil. So that's a lot. So I'm gonna make the half recipe, which is four cups of flour and half a cup of oil. So that's what I'm gonna make is the half recipe, but it just depends how much you would like to make. So let's get started. I've just got my bowl here and I'm just going to scoop my flour into my one cup, measuring cup here. So again, I am doing the half recipe because I don't need that much. So there's one cup. Two cups. This is my third cup here. And I'm just using the back of my knife to level it off. Okay, one more cup. So yes, this recipe uses a lot of flour. If you really wanted, you could probably cut it in half again and use two cups of flour and a quarter cup of oil. You could try that as well if this is still gonna be too much. Okay. So there's that. Now I have grabbed a liquid measuring cup here and we're gonna go ahead and measure half a cup of oil. Okay, perfect. So there's half a cup of oil. I'm just gonna set that aside and we're gonna go ahead and pour it in. So, this is where it's going to take a while. So I'm gonna use beaters here. Your recipe calls for just any sort of blender. And I'm gonna try this using the beaters here because I think it's going to combine really nicely using the beaters. Um, and like I said, this can take up to 10 minutes to mix together. So bear with me and follow along. So let's keep beating this until this is fully incorporated.
So as of right now, it looks and feels like the texture of coarse sand. So we're getting there, but we still need to make sure it's really, really well incorporated. So let's keep going and beat it longer. Okay, so as I've been beating this, it has become much more fluffy and it seems to have actually, yeah, just gotten really fluffy. And if you take some and squeeze it, it feels very soft and you can actually make some um, little shapes from it if you squeeze hard enough. So, we're almost there. Um, if you'd like to add a little bit more oil, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I think it's looking pretty good so far. It's very, a really neat texture. Um, it just kind of depends on the consistency you would like. You can add a touch more oil, like maybe I'll do that and see the texture I get but it's looking really great so far, so let's keep beating it. Okay, so I think that we are actually done here. We are left with a really, really neat texture here. Definitely resembles what moon sand would feel like if we were on the moon. So the idea behind this moon sand here is that you can make little shapes and they'll hold together until you crumble them in your hands like that. So I'm gonna dump this out on a tray and I'm gonna kind of show you what you can do with it.
Okay, so I've just gone ahead and dumped my moon sand here into a large casserole dish. And I definitely suggest dumping it into something flat and long so that it's easier to play with. So again, this made a full tray here and this was only the half recipe. But if you would like lots, go ahead and make the full recipe, which was eight cups of flour, one cup of oil. And yeah, it worked out really, really well as I just used my vegetable oil here. Um, it has created a really nice texture. And the nice thing about this moon sand is it's kind of similar to sand that you would find on the beach where you can make little sand castles from if you'd like. So if you have little cutouts and shapes, you can actually make things out of it like you would on the beach. You can make little sand castles and stuff here as long as you have the correct molds. So, so yeah, this was the half, half recipe here and it's still quite a bit. You could make more if you wanted more, but yeah, it very much resembles um, sand that you would find on a beach except a much softer and fluffier texture and yeah that's moon sand for you so again if you have little cutout shapes for play-doh and stuff like that that's where you can use these you can make sand castles you can kind of do whatever you'd like with it and it's just a really fun, simple moon sand recipe that is really fun for kids to play with. And it feels really, really great. It's just very, very soft and has a really great texture. So there's our moon sand. Thank you so much for joining. I would love to see what you make with your moon sand. So as always, send me a photo or a video. I would like to see what you made and I will add the instructions for both the full recipe and the half recipe down in the description if you want to make the full recipe one day, if you would like more than this. Okay, thank you so much for joining me everybody and I will see you next time.